Welcome to TV Briefing. The content of the briefing includes. Ira von Furstenberg, socialite princess of the jet set age, dies at 83. SAG Awards winners list, can Barbie avenge its Oscars snubs? The SAG Awards will stream Saturday live on Netflix. Here's how to watch and what to know. Berlin Ale, film on looted colonial era art wins Golden Bear. List of winners at the 30th Screen Actors Guild Awards. Ira von Furstenberg, socialite princess of the jet set age, dies at 83. Washington Post. Princess Ira von Furstenberg, a jet-setting socialite, model, actress, and princess has died at the age of 83. The cause of death has not been released. Princess Ira was the embodiment of jet-set glamour and intrigue during the 1960s and 70s, as she socialized with celebrities, danced with Frank Sinatra, appeared in films and on catwalks, and even helped to launch Karl Lagerfeld's career. Her marriage to Prince Alfonso von Hohenlohe Langenberg, known as the King of Clubs, ended in divorce, and she then married Brazilian industrialist Baby Pignatari, who divorced her in Las Vegas. However, she also made significant contributions to the fashion world, being recognized by designer Valentino and even heading up his perfume division in the 1970s. She also dabbled in art, producing mysterious objets uniques for exhibitions around the world from the 1990s onwards. She is survived by her son Hubertus von Hohenlohe, a photographer and musician, and the late Christoph Victorio Egon Umberto. SAG Awards winners list, Can Barbie Avenge Its Oscars Snubs? ABC. The Screen Actors Guild, SAG, awards nominations have been announced, with films such as A Star Is Born, Black Panther, and Black KK Klansman leading the pack. Australian actresses Margot Robbie and Nicole Kidman are also nominated. The winners will be announced at the awards ceremony. The SAG Awards will stream Saturday live on Netflix. Here's how to watch and what to know. The Globe and Mail. Berlin Ale, film on looted colonial era art wins Golden Bear. Deutsche Welle. The Berlin Ale, one of Europe's major film festivals, awarded its top prize, the Golden Bear, to Matty Diop's documentary Dahomey, which accompanies the restitution of 26 of the royal treasures of the Kingdom of Dahomey from France to Benin. The documentary highlights the return of colonial objects, a topic that is currently being debated in museums of former colonial powers. The festival also saw other works that tackled political and social issues, highlighting the Berlinale's reputation as the most political of the major European film festivals. List of winners at the 30th Screen Actors Guild Awards. Associated Press. The 30th Annual Screen Actors Guild Awards took place in Los Angeles on Saturday. The winners so far include Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning Part 1 Four Stunt Ensemble in Movies, and The Last of Us Four Stunt Ensemble in Television. The awards are being streamed live on Netflix. The Independent Spirit Awards is the most entertaining ceremony you've never heard of. ABC. The Independent Spirit Awards, ISAs, are more entertaining and interesting than other awards ceremonies, according to this op-ed in Mashable Australia. The ISAs, which take place in a freezing cold tent on the beach, often attract exciting hosts like Nick Kroll, Seth Rogen, Aubrey Plaza, and Kate McKinnon, who are able to make better jokes because they have more freedom than other awards ceremony hosts. The ISAs also allow overlooked films and performances to shine, and they are ahead of their time in terms of embracing diversity. Amy Schumer has been diagnosed with Cushing syndrome. What to know about the rare disorder? Yahoo! Amy Schumer, the 42-year-old comedian, has revealed that she has been diagnosed with exogenous Cushing syndrome, a hormonal disorder caused by high levels of cortisol in the body. The condition was brought on by the high doses of steroid injections Schumer had recently received. If not treated, Cushing syndrome can lead to osteoporosis, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, infections, and loss of muscle mass. Schumer has also been diagnosed with endometriosis and has previously experienced hyperemesis gravidarum. Byron, Bush and other NASCAR drivers are still adjusting to Atlanta's reconfigured track. Associated Press William Byron, the newly crowned Daytona 500 champion, has expressed mixed feelings about the NASCAR Cup Series race at Atlanta Motor Speedway. While he has flourished at the reconfigured track, winning two out of the four Cup Series races since the renovation, 
he finds the track unique and wouldn't want to race there every week. The track's reconfiguration has drawn mixed reviews from drivers, with some, like Kyle Busch, criticizing the changes and preferring the old surface. Ford drivers dominated qualifying for the race, with Michael McDowell winning the pole position. Dahomey Dock on Europe's looted African art wins Berlin Film Festival. Al Jazeera. The Berlin International Film Festival has awarded its top prize, the Golden Bear, to the documentary film Dahomey. Directed by Maddie Diop, the film explores the return of looted antiquities to Africa. Diop said the prize not only honors me but the entire visible and invisible community that the film represents. The film focuses on the Benin bronzes and the struggle to return them. Other winners at the festival included A Traveler's Needs, The Empire, Pepe, A Different Man, Small Things Like These, Dying, The Devil's Bath, No Other Land, Siuli Never Cries, and An Odd Turn. Famed Cuban diva Juana Bacaleo, who ruled the island's cabaret scene, dies at 98. Associated Press. Juana Bacaleo, a Cuban singer and cabaret diva, has died aged 98. Bacaleo was known for her husky voice and her risque personality. She performed at the famous Tropicana Club in the 1940s and 1950s and sang alongside artists such as Nat King Cole. Born Neri Emilia Martinez Salazar, Bacaleo was sent to a Catholic boarding school after becoming orphaned at the age of six. She was discovered as a teenager while she was singing as she cleaned homes. Bacaleo was given the name Juana Bacaleo and became a sensation in Cuba's cabaret scene. That's all for today's news, folks. We started off with the sad news of the passing of Princess Ira von Furstenberg, the ultimate socialite princess of the jet set age. She lived a life of glamour, rubbing shoulders with celebrities, and even helping to launch Karl Lagerfeld's career. Rest in peace, Princess Ira. Next, we had the nominations for the Screen Actors Guild, SAG, awards, with films like A Star Is Born and Black Panther leading the pack. The winners will be announced at the awards ceremony, which will be streamed live on Netflix for the first time ever. Looks like Netflix is taking over the world, one live event at a time. Speaking of awards ceremonies, we also discussed the Independent Spirit Awards, ISAs, which are apparently more entertaining and interesting than other awards shows. Held in a freezing cold tent on the beach, the ISAs allow overlooked films and performances to shine and embrace diversity. Plus, the hosts get to make better jokes because they have more freedom. Sounds like a good time to me. In the world of film festivals, the Berlin Ale awarded its top prize, the Golden Bear, to the documentary Dahomey, which explores the return of looted African art. The film focuses on the Benin bronzes and the struggle to return them, highlighting an important conversation about colonial objects in museums. We also had some sad news from the Cuban music scene, as Juana Bacaleo, a legendary cabaret diva, passed away at the age of 98. She was known for her husky voice and risque personality, and performed at the famous Tropicana Club alongside artists like Nat King Cole. Rest in peace, Juana Bacaleo. Well, that's all the news for today. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. What are your thoughts on the passing of Princess Ira von Furstenberg? Are you excited for the SAG Awards and the ISAs? Let's keep the conversation going. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief by email.